Ladies, let's get this sheared out. Hey, baby, what's happening? This is Lynn and Lynn's Keto Kitchen. Where is that group I want to get into tonight? Oh, goodness. Thought I had it right at the beginning. It's not going up for me. Don't waste my time. There it is. Hey, 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 again, this is Lynn, Lynn's Keto Kitchen. Thanks for jumping on. Get that out of the way so I can see as you're jumping on. Say hi, let me know where you're coming from. Hi, Lisa, hi, Ruth, hi, Judy. Thanks for jumping on. Tonight, we are going to be making these awesome um, chicken parmesan chapels. Now, say that three times. Um, one of my viewers gave this to me. I tried it right away, and my whole family liked it. It's super easy nice and savory let's get with it so i thought i would start off by showing you hey pam um the recipes but first of all i gotta get that housekeeping done i always forget that so as you're dropping on live drop one or live for catching the live um drop two or say i missed you if you're catching the replay if you want to follow me goodness guys you guys have been great i've got so many more followers for y'all sharing it out um, touch my nose, go up to the three dots and hit follow, um, close it out, go back in, and then there'll be another option up there to be notified when I go live. At any time, if you're getting value, please share it out. You're watching this because somebody else shared it out, and I'm going to give you the recipe. I'm going to post it at the top. I'm going to put it in our group, and if you want that recipe and all these other amazing recipes, just drop secret in the bottom, and I'll get back with you. The best way to get a hold of me is to just send me a friend request. Let's get started. So, let's go over the recipe real quick, or the ingredients. I got it pretty much uh, measured out, but I wanted to show you these. Hey, Kelly. Hey, April. Hey, Pam. Hey, right. Um, can of chicken. This is 13 ounces. You're going to get all the juices out of it and use half a can. Um, and all the measurements are in the recipe. I use Philadelphia cream cheese. I use the Mexican style blend for my cheddar cheese. Uh, I called for Parmesan cheese. I used Costco Parmigiano Reggiano, if I'm not showing you that. Um, mozzarella, I got at Costco. I got cream cheese in it, um, garlic powder, and Italian seasoning, an egg, and some Reyes and mozzarella to put it on top. You're going to love this. Hey, Linda. Hey, Judy. You guys got any questions, just drop them in the comments, and I will get back with you tonight or tomorrow. So I just took a half can of that chicken. Um, you can use rotisserie, whatever chicken you have, but you basically want it to be cooked already. Okay, let me get my recipe front of me because I don't want to forget any of the good stuff. Um, so that was the chicken, a fourth a cup of cheddar cheese, and like I said, I used Mexican blend. Hope you guys are having a great evening. Oh, and, and we're going to do the chapel. That was the whole thing. We're going to do this. I already got it heated up, so start that up if you're doing it with me. I sprayed a little coconut oil on there. It won't stick, but just in case. Um, an eighth a cup of Parmesan cheese. I use Parmigiano Reggiano because that's what we had in the house and it's yummy. Okay. Um, one egg. Here's your Costco egg too. Put that right in there. Grab a napkin. Hope you guys are staying cold. It's 108, or it still is 108 in Vegas today. Hey, Miss Stacy. Hey, Linda. I think I got you already. Okay, and then we got we got the egg, a teaspoon of Italian seasoning. Can you guys see my uh, thing? Somebody say, I can see, I can see. Um, an eighth a thing of garlic, an eighth a teaspoon of garlic powder put in there, and a teaspoon of cream cheese at room temperature. So that is it for the chapel. So it said, uh, it's said to put it in a medium bowl. I guess it's easier to mix that way, but you know what? This is going to make four servings, so it was easy for me to leave it in here. So you're just going to mix it until it's all well combined. And I'm sweating, so my glasses are falling down on my nose. So it just made it easier for me to leave it in this little bowl. 
so I can divvy it up into four servings before I put it in the chapel. Again, this is going to make four servings, and you just want to do it till it's well combined. Um, guys, I tried these without putting a topping on them. They were great. You don't have to put anything on them. They were just that yummy. Um, you can use dipping sauces like guacamole or pizza sauce if you don't want to put a topping on top of them. Or you can put the uh, marinara sauce on top with some mozzarella cheese. Throw it back into the microwave or oven or even an air fryer and warm that up until the cheese melts. So that's it, basically. How's that looking? Again, that's how it's looking. Hey, Carolyn. Hey, Mama. Hey, Cindy. So, um, as you're jumping on, say hi. Let me know where you're coming from. Oh, I was going to show you this neat little trick I learned today. Um, drop a one if you're watching it live. Drop a two if you're catching the risk replay or say, I missed you, Lynn. Share it out for me, guys. I have so many new followers. I love seeing that. I love answering all your questions. I didn't know I was so smart until I, until I started answering you guys' questions. But, you know, I did keto. I started back in June. And uh, I learned a lot, lost all the weight that I wanted to. But just I love to maintain this lifestyle because I feel so much better. So much better. I think that's about you. Look what I did. So we know it's going to be four servings. So right there in the bowl, I made four servings out of there. So I don't have to guess so much when I'm putting it in the... Uh, chapel and it's hot so be careful just take one scoop of those um if you guys want in that group that i got this nope nope i got this from one of you guys miss miss lisa thank you um but i did little changes and i did a lot of i've seen a lot of variations to this so i'm gonna post it to my page and put it in our group so if you guys want in that secret keto group that I'm in, I got all, uh, lots of recipes, meal plans, kid-friendly stuff. Just drop secret down there. Okay, and you just close it up in minimum four minutes. Let me tell Alexa to put the timer on. Hey, Alexa, put a timer on for four minutes, please. Oh, she heard me. Okay, so... It's as easy as that, and we'll watch, and I won't make all four of them. This is, again, four servings. So I made the four earlier today. Let's get those out, and be careful of that little hot chapel. You guys, follow me. Let me get a plate. So, and when they come out of that... Um, there's what they look like earlier today. Just plain. You can eat them like that in dipping sauce, or you can cut them up and dip them in there. Hey, Judy, thanks for jumping on. Get this out of my way. Guys, I got this at Walmart for $5. You can put, like, chips and all those salsa things in there. Isn't that great? Little thing. And I'm limited on bowls and stuff, so I just use this for that. Um, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, I know. So when you bring those out of the chaffle in four minutes, um... Put it on a cooling rack because if you just put it on a piece of paper or something like that, that condensation makes it kind of soggy. So just put it on a cooling rack, let them cool a little bit until you're ready to put the toppings on and then stick them in there. Ooh, I've got to get a drink. I'm hot, honey. What else? What else, you guys? Got any questions for me? So earlier today when I was... Uh, uh, getting my stuff ready. No, actually, yeah. Um, and I turned on the uh, chapel the first time. It smelled like birthday cake in here, and I'm like, my gosh, who's got the birthday cake? Silly me, like a month ago, I think was the last time I used it, and um, and uh, it had that in there. Remember when I made that chaffle birthday cake? If you guys want that recipe, drop birthday cake in there, and I'll link you or I'll uh, tag you in that recipe I did. Oh my gosh, that was so good, and it smelled so yummy. So we're going to wait for that one to come out. Let's see here. Oh, oh, oh. I think it's very versatile. I've seen it done, this done in like the oven, uh, again, the air fryer. 
um, right in the chapel maker or a skillet. And I even went on there and somebody even did a casserole out of it. I want to try that too as well. Carolyn Linda, thanks for jumping on. She's dropping birthday there. I'll link you with that. Okay, what else you guys got for me? You know, I'm never at a loss for words, but I think we're just moving along so good. Remember last week I was dragging butt, right? I was on my 60-hour uh, fast. I did awesome. Uh, I was just, you know, tired, hungry, and hot. But uh, it's a week later. I had great results, as I always do every month. If you guys want information on fasting, drop fasting down there. All right, Alexa, we're waiting on you. So our internet went out last night, night before last, so I had to go and um, get a, uh, a new router. So I set that up and everything was fine. And then last night at 12 o'clock, it went out again, but we got it fixed and it's working. And then I was trying the timer with it. Well, she wasn't hooked up, so we had to fix her again today. Hey, Tracy, thanks for jumping on. Has it been four minutes? We gotta get going, huh? Cat Katie. Where are you located? I'm in Las Vegas. Las Vegas, sunny, hot Las Vegas, Nevada. Where all the cool people are. And you too, sweetie. Hey, Mom, what is the fat content? Mom, I have that on the recipe. I have all the macros on the recipe, so I'll post that to the top, and you'll get it there, okay? So, but you know what? Each of these chapels are only like 1.5 carbs, so you can eat the whole thing. Don't share them, do share them, whatever. When I made them, I had to make, oh, there she goes. Okay, there went Alexa. Okay, I have to tell her to hush up. Hey, Alexa, will you please turn the timer off? Thank you. Okay, so let's bring this out. I have one of these little handy dandies. It's to get, a, uh, it's to get the uh, toast out of the toast, out of the toaster. And there's that. Check that out. Can you see it? Uh, that's cool. And so these will make four of them. I won't do it. You guys know that already. So I'm just going to take these. Um, actually, I'll just do one. You guys get the gist of it. You know what? I missed a step. Okay, so let me tell you this so you won't miss it when you do it, okay? So before you put the chapel mixture in there, take like a teaspoon of the, the cheddar cheese and put it on your chapel first. That will give it a more crustier a crustier bottom to it as well it's a lot easier to get out so I've missed that step so it's in my instructions okay so basically you got it out there I'm not going to do this one just yet because it needs to cool off and then basically you just take I need a spoon you just take like a tablespoon out and I use this I use the homemade Rayos marinara is so yummy. Just a tablespoon or ever how much you'd like for you. Oops, I went over the edge, you know. You can put a little more. Let me put a little bit more on there to cover. Okay, okay. And guys, I'm trying not to waste y'all's time because I look up there and see all your comments and I get distracted. So you guys just Go on with your comments, and I'll get back with you tonight or tomorrow. And this is um, this is like a half a cup of mozzarella, so so this is enough for four of them. So just mix that up evenly. Put that in there, and you can turn around. I told you I use Italian and garlic on mine. You can turn around and add a little bit more uh, if you want to. Uh, Italian seasoning to it. Really, really yummy. I'm just going to place it in the uh, air fryer for a minute so you guys can see it melt. I'll move my air fryer over here so we can get it in view this time. Not 15 minutes, but let's go for two minutes. So it's as simple as that, guys. It's so yummy. I don't know why I haven't made this before. This has got to be one of my favorite chapels that in the birthday cake one. So you guys drop chapel down there if you want that. You guys drop birthday cake if you want that recipe. Um, drop secret if you want to join our secret keto group. And what was the other one? Drop fasting if you want to know anything about our reboot. Feeling good. Going 60 hours. And I turned this camera around. This is the first time today. Can you actually read me? My mom always say, what are you doing backwards? I hope you guys can read me. Let's see. You're so welcome, Ruth. 
Michael, thanks for jumping on. I want to slop you up. Oh, you guys read Michael's comments on there. He says, you look so good. I want to sop you up with a biscuit. Oh, you're so sweet. Oh, you must be from the South, honey. Woo, I'm hot. I need another drink. So again, that step that I missed was put like a teaspoon of your cheddar cheese in the waffle before you put that mixture on. Put it in there for four minutes. Bring it out. Put it on this little uh, cooling rack. Let it cool for a little bit. And then add your toppings if you want to. And then they're ready to eat. So I already had fixed dinner for uh, my husband and my son. And so I'm going to have a couple of these. But you can eat all four. They're only 1.45 carb per serving. Mm. So let's see. All right, guys. So if you have any suggestions, what you want next week. I'm just waiting for it to come out so I can show you. If you got any suggestions for next week, what you want to see me make, please drop that in the comment. And that's it. And I really appreciate you guys sharing it out for me. Sharing is caring. When you're watching it because somebody shared it out. That's got to be it, right? Oh, yes, let me get a little serving plate, my one little serving plate that I have in this little keto kitchen. And you could do it a little longer. Ow! Let me get my tongs. And that is it, my guys. That's it. Isn't that amazing? And it smells so good. Hey, Terry, thanks for sharing out. Yes, let me know that you shared it so I can, like, thank you so much. Um, that's it, guys. Sharing is caring. Thank you for spending time with me. As I always say, time is the most valuable thing you have. Once you lose it, you can't get it back. You guys have a great evening. I love you. I appreciate you. And see you next Tuesday.